Thank you for joining us for our reflection on a lesson from the Daily Office Lectionary. My name is Deacon Abby B., and I serve at St. George's Episcopal Church in Clifton Park, New York. Today is Wednesday in the week of the 12th Sunday after Pentecost. Let us pray. Grant to us, Lord, we pray, the Spirit to think and do always those things that are right, that we, who cannot exist without you, may by you be enabled to live according to your will, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Our lesson is from the book of Judges, the 13th chapter, beginning at the 15th verse. Manoah said to the angel of the Lord, Allow us to detain you and prepare a kid for you. The angel of the Lord said to Manoah, If you detain me, I will not eat your food. But if you want to prepare a burnt offering, then offer it to the Lord. For Manoah did not know that he was the angel of the Lord. Then Manoah said to the angel of the Lord, What is your name, so that we may honor you when your words come true? But the angel of the Lord said to him, Why do you ask my name? It is too wonderful. So Manoah took the kid with the grain offering and offered it on the rock to the Lord, to him who works wonders. When the flame went up toward heaven from the altar, the angel of the Lord ascended in the flame of the altar, while Manoah and his wife looked on, and they fell on their faces to the ground. The angel of the Lord did not appear again to Manoah and his wife. Then Manoah realized that it was the angel of the Lord, and Manoah said to his wife, We shall surely die, for we have seen God. But his wife said to him, if the Lord had meant to kill us, he would not have accepted a burnt offering and a grain offering at our hands, or shown us all these things, or now announced to us such things as these. The woman bore a son and named him Samson. The boy grew, and the Lord blessed him. Here ends the lesson. We continue the Bible story of Manoah and his wife who have been visited from an angel of the Lord. Manoah, obedient to the command of hospitality, offers the visitor a meal, not recognizing this is a messenger of God. Examples of hospitality are found throughout the Old Testament and were a key component of the Israelite society. In Leviticus chapter 19, God instructs the Israelites to treat visitors well. Abraham showed hospitality to two strangers, and the same for Job, and there are many other examples. Here, the angel of the Lord appears to Manoah as an angel of God, in the sense that he did not need a meal, but would accept a sacrificial offering made unto the Lord. There are two points on which to reflect as we read this lesson. First, Manoah asks the visitor, the angel, his name. The angel refuses, saying it is too wonderful. Wonderful. This gives us a glimpse of the names that will be attributed to what Isaiah announces for the coming of a Savior. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us, authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Second, as Manoah is obedient and makes the offering, and the angel is taken up in the flames of the offering, he is greatly distressed by his inability to recognize the Lord in his wife's presence. Talk about looking at a situation with a rearview mirror. Manoah's fear of death for not noticing the presence of the Lord is real. But his wife explains, if they had not found favor, the angel would not have accepted their offering. She shows great faith as she reassures her husband of the blessings of God. The fulfillment of God's promise comes indeed through their son, Samson. 
Hospitality is a ministry that many people share with devotion and definitely make it look effortless. Through hospitality, we are given the opportunity to share our faith and be a blessing to others. The Apostle Paul in his letter to the Romans says that we should contribute to the needs of the saints and seek to show hospitality. And the letter to the Hebrews goes on to tell us that we should not neglect to show hospitality to strangers, for thereby some have entertained angels unawares. Encouragement for us today. Let us pray. Give us grateful hearts, our Father, for all your mercies, and make us mindful of the needs of others. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Thank you for joining us. Join us every weekday for our reflection. If you live in the Clifton Park area, join us for worship at 4.30 on Saturdays or 8 or 9.30 on Sunday mornings. If you are unable to join us in person, join us virtually through our YouTube channel. Our webpage provides recordings and details about all of our offerings.